Wendy Morado, and this is another episode of Cat Chat. And I'm here with my very good friend, Tracy New. Hi. And Tracy's here because you've done a lot of what we're going to do today. We've, we've both been baby feeders, not, orphan baby feeders. I've not done it for a little while, so I might be a little out of practice. So we'll That's see. okay, but you've done your yes. lion's share. Of I have fed baby kittens. Baby orphan ki kittens. And um, Debbie is here. And she's going to be handing us some kittens. Uh, don't worry if you're a Debbie fan. She's, she's not been replaced. She is definitely here. And uh, she'll be on part l later in the show. She's going to be handing us some kittens, though. They're a little bit older, and they do have a mom. But just for the sake of the fact that we don't have orphan kittens right now, thankfully. That's a good thing. That is a very good thing. Um, we're going to use some kittens that are were born on, Debbie said, the first week of April. And so they're a little bit older. They may not take a bottle easily because they're mm. used to eating from their mama. And they were just eating. And they were just, we just were standing here watching them <laughs> eat away. And now they're wanting to sleep. Mom's washing her face up. And, uh, but let's just go over the supplies okay. needed, <laughs> which you're going to see because last the last show Debbie and I taped, we talked about orphan kittens and why to leave them. Debbie he gets a lot of phone calls from the public that they want us to take in these orphan kittens. And we kind of talked a little bit, Tracy, about how much work that was. Yes, it is. A lot of work. It's a lot of work. And how if you're not going to do it yourself, if you're not going to do it yourself out there, what you're asking us is to do something super human. It's a little baby. It takes a lot of time. And then there's they multiply. There can be up to nine. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've it's had not the just bottle one feed. baby usually. Usually it's multiple. Mm -hmm. Three, four. Four is a lot. Nine is insane. All you, as soon as you get done feeding one, you got to go all the way back again. Yeah, yeah. Endless cycle. Endless cycle. And uh, Debbie asked me a really good question last time about how long I'll let them go when they're little. And I say, you know, a lot of times mom walks away for a little bit of time after the first week or so. But in the first week or so, sometimes I will go as long as six hours without feeding them. But they are ravenous, mm -hmm. like <laughs> drinking ravenously. When I wake up, you know, I'll go as late as like 11 <laughs> or 12 and try to get to them by five or six, which... I need sleep in order to run these businesses. And uh, it's night after night after night like that. Yeah, it doesn't stop. It Everybody doesn't knows stop. it has a baby. Yeah, they're, they're different and they're in multiples and stuff, but um, not quite as much work as a human baby sometimes, but they can be. So this is what we want to talk about is all the things that would help if you found a kitten. Mm -hmm. This is this is the kit you could make for yourself. Let's say I'm going to get prepared and I know I have these stray cats outside and I know they're pregnant and I want to socialize them so they have a chance at getting adopted once they're of age. Because your neighbors and all are not going to take a feral kitten, feral being totally wild, like a little baby raccoon, yeah. they'll rip you up. So you want to get to them as soon as you can. In the, after the first week or so, you should be handling them. And they are strong. People don't think that a little month old kitten would be strong, but it's just like a baby. It's stronger than you think. They are. And, and at four weeks instinct, old, yeah, the, they're wicked To get mean. away, it's not, it, it's a little more stressful than you would think. Yeah. So at you want to start weeks old, early. Yes. You want to start as early as you can. The safest time to start is at two to three weeks old. Some of the things that we have. Um, very, very important to have a scale. You have to be able to weigh these kittens up to a one hundredth of an ounce. How much is a newborn every day? Weigh? So a newborn, that's a great question, a newborn should weigh between three, two and four ounces. And they can weigh in there safely, two and four ounces. Usually they're three or four ounces born. Um, and then they should gain at least a hundredth of an ounce, three one hundredths of an ounce a day. So they're not putting on a lot of weight at first, and mm -hmm. then it's escalating and escalating. But in their first month, y until they get to a pound, you really want to be watching the hundredth of an ounce because they need to continuously be gaining or something's wrong. But for those that we can save, here's what we have. So what we're going to do is we're, we want to make milk for them, and this is the best thing to buy. KMR, Kitten Milk Replacer. And you can buy it anywhere. 
Walmart has it. All the pet stores have it. It is expensive, um, relatively expensive. If you have a litter of four kittens, you're going to go through at least two or three of these before they're eating healthily on their own. So that's if I'm totally feeding them. If you're them, totally feeding not them. Not just supplementing. Yeah. If you want to supplement, that, you're probably not going to go through this. But it's two to one. So you're going to use two parts powder oh. to one part warm water. Once you open this up and it has, a, it has one of these little metal tops, once you open that up, it now needs to be refrigerated because it will lose efficacy out you know it'll stale just like anything else it'll stale so we want to leave that in the refrigerator and we always write on the top or on the side when we opened it up so we'll get a, a black sharpie and what's today's date anybody i don't know 24th. the 24th and we're going to mark that on there that we opened it up on the 24th because you'll see that the kittens will tell you if the, too much time goes by and you try to use this they will reject it. Mom won't even drink it. Oh. Yeah, so it so does have to be bad. used. They'll know it's bad. This is a little packet that you can also get at any pet food store, any Pet Supplies Plus, Pet Smart, Petco. They have these really great Pet Value is now in Brunswick. Um, there's Pet for people. Oh yeah, pet people. Pet people. Um, they're all Pet Value. I think I just mentioned that. Um, there's all kinds of places. Usually they'll have at least a couple of these. And we actually talked about us carrying some, huh, Deb? Mm -hmm. Because people come here looking for help and we want to be able to say, well, here's a kit. Mm -hmm. How would you like to have this little kit and be prepared? And then Andy, who is, of course, our camera guy today. Thank you, Andy. Um, Andy said that he will put this show on YouTube and leave it there so that anybody that has found a kitten that's watching today you can have a memory, hopefully, at that time to say, hey, I think Andy put Wendy and Tracy's and Debbie's show on. We might be able to so watch we'll know that what to do. and know what to do. So you're going to get one of these. It has these different nipple tops. This is their favorite kind. These long, skinny ones sometimes are their favorite ones. Sometimes they're not. They're like people. They're like babies. And some babies like this, some babies like that, some babies like that. They, this is a puppy nipple, by the way. Don't try to use that I, one I on your kitten. <laughs> That's a puppy nipple. But this is really great. And these come, just so you know, these come with no hole in it. You have to oh. put the hole in it yourself. You either have to cut the top off or what have you. Now, someone cut the top off of this one. And I want to tell you that that is too big. So, Andy, if you can get a, a, a picture of that. That is too big. There needs to be an X in it, and when they, when they suck and they bite down, that sifts into their mouth. It doesn't pour into their mouth. Basically, be they drowning will, them. They will aspirate with a hole this big. That means that that milk will go down into their lungs, and it could potentially kill them. Get if, pneumonia. It'll come out their nose because they're drinking too fast. They cannot drink this fast. So whoever did this one and put that nipple on, I kept it for a reason because that is not good um, and also you'll notice one other thing is this nipple is turning really dark orange it's yeah. a really old nipple oh. it's just been sitting so it in our kit like a light one yep and wow. it gets really dark from the use from the milk and stuff so in the trash that one goes bye bye and we're going to talk about these in addition to these these come with a bottle. These nipples come with a bottle. So this comes with a bottle. Then I would have to take a pair of scissors. There's no hole in here. This baby can suck all day long and they're getting nothing out of here until you make a way. Okay, so you take this scissor and you have to put the slightest little cut in there. Then you, so you have this little cut and you see how when I squeeze it. A little duck mouth. It has a little duck mouth, okay. Can you see that, Andy, okay? Okay. All right. Now you want to turn it so that the cut is this way and cut another one this way. So you're kind of making an X in it. And just in this one is even less so that when they suck, that's what comes out. Okay. That's how you cut these. No. Oh, so these they don't things. just cut a hole out of the top. No, no. Oh. They can aspirate really badly. Then you put that in here. And when you put that in here, you have to 
pull it and snap it in there. Okay, now it's in there and it's snapped good. Then once we make the milk, we're going to pour, put it in here so that it's on a specific line so that you can be measuring how much is this kitten eating. So you can measure, are they eating more today or less today? And, and that first line right there would be for the, for the newborns. That's how much they should drink each. So about between here and here would be halfway through and so on. And then if you have five kittens, that should be the bottle. bottle. So you're not going to make this enormous amount of milk it's just like regular milk. It'll you want to only bad. make as much as you're going to use at the time because they don't like it. So what if I have extra? Then you give it to the mom. Oh, and, and if there is it? no mom, then you can save it. But if you put it in the refrigerator, you cannot microwave it because you could scald it. Then they're, oh. you're scalding their mouth. And it's very, very de delicate to do these guys. So you, what you want to do is you want to take that bottle and you want to put it in some hot water just like you would do a Regular human baby. baby. Put it on your wrist, make sure, and shake it up. Make sure it's completely the temperature that you want it so to be. So I don't Put want it, it on lumpy. Your wrist. I want it nice and smooth. You want it nice and smooth. So that's why we have these things. We have these sifters. And I buy the little, little ones, actually. Mm. But that's all I could find here at Kitten Crate. I actually have, we have supplies everywhere. And at home, I have everything. Because yeah. that's where they usually go. So we make this milk in this thing. So... Um, but I just want to finish talking about the supplies. They have these new things. This is pretty new, oh. like in the last year. Do they like those better? They love them, and, and Aunt Wendy loves them. Mama Wendy loves these Where miracle did, nipples. They are truly a miracle. Where did you get those? So you get them online, and you go to www.miraclenipple.com. Now, we are going to have some of these on so they for sale. Have do they have holes in them already or do these I need do. to cut? These have holes in them already. Now, look at the hole that these have. Can you see that, Andy? They are so tiny. This is the appropriate hole because they know people are not cutting the right size hole. And then we have the different sizes this way. You'll find that some kittens like this better than this and this better than this. So this isn't for younger and that's for older? Nope. Okay. It's just a preference that they have. I like this one. For some reason, they love to like get it all the way in their mouth. And when they squeeze any part of their mouth, it comes out. Versus this one, they just have... This is a lot like a mama's nipple. That's about the size of a mama's nipple. So... The difference is it does not need a bottle. Okay, this so is a whole kit. So what am I going to put those on? So I'm going to put these on any syringe I have at home. Okay, so now I have these syringes, and this one I can't use. Why not? Because these are two different types oh. of syringes. This is called a lure lock, and you see that loop thing. When you put a needle on there, it, it, it scrolls on there, and then the needle won't come off. Put a needle on this, it has to sit on there, mm -hmm. and those can be a little bit funky. So this is not going to work because it has to have this nipple. Okay, so it's kind of in a good way that we got this out. This has to have a nipple type thing on it because that's going to fit right in here. And that's going to go like that, and I can just so, manage this. It has the number on here and everything. I love these. Now, you're saying they're sucking it out. Are you also pushing it in? very lightly okay because if you aspirate them they're going to so get it's sick not like or medicine. die it's not like medicine they have enough when they're healthy they have enough power to suck that down with you'll just see that syringe going like this boom 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 what if and they're not eating then you slowly tap it and you put a drop and then they swallow and a drop and they swallow. If they're, they're done, kittens will tell you when they're done. They'll be like, okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> if they're hungry, they'll still stay right there. They, they may need to take a second to catch their breath or just stop for a second like they do on mom and then they'll be like, okay, I'll, I'll keep going. It is one cup of this, one of these two water. One powder, two water. So I'm gonna do two powders, four waters. You want it a, almost like a runny milkshake. Mm -hmm. Don't want it so much like milk milk because it needs to have substance. Two, three, four. Now, 
those Tupperware things, the shakers, those are great. But my husband found these online. Oh. This is amazing. What you is can that? get them anywhere. It's just you throw it in there and it helps to stir, to, to. Kind of like a sifter. Kind of like a blender. Blender? Yes, yes. So we put that in there and then this is the top part. This is just one of those shaker deals. It's mine. I've had it a long time. It's from Forever Living Products. So I do that to get the air out first and then I can do this. It's going to get a little loud. Okay, so we're going to do that. And that little guy in there is doing its good job, good job, good job. Then when I take it out of there, when I take it out of there, I want to sift it again. Oh, really? Did you see how small that hole is? Yeah. If there's any no chunk that is not coming through, they will get aggravated, they won't eat, and you're going to have a little crankster on your hands. I actually get the little, little baby ones. And you can get them for a dollar at the dollar store, oh. the drain, those drain things. So, and I will show you this. Look how much is in there, even still, the chunks that are in there. So that would have that will block stopped that. up my nipple. All right, so what we're going to do so, is we're going to weigh our baby. So we want to weigh him before we feed him. want to weigh him before you feed him. Oh, you don't have to weigh him that. afterwards. You're just going to weigh him and you're going to log it. So you know um, 0.10.3. Truman. Yeah, might as well do Truman. Hi, first. Truman. We'll go right in order. How much did he weigh? 10. Baby. 0.10.4. Hi. You want hungries? Are you hungries? So first thing you're going to do, think of it this way. Do you like to sit down at your dinner table needing really bad to go to the bathroom? No. Are you going to enjoy your food? No. Are you going to think about is I need to go to the bathroom? So the first thing we're going to do is make this little guy go potty. I, I usually go one, two. That's what I do. So then I pick this guy up and I just hold him like this and I'm going to just gently take this and I'm going to rub and maybe mom already did it. Maybe he doesn't need to go. But here it comes. Oh. And you don't stop the launch sequence. Once you go, you got to go. And I'm holding gently around his belly because I can feel him pushing. Oh. I can feel him. Trying to go? He's definitely going. See? Oh, can't stop the launch sequence because there it comes. And then just move your towel around a little bit so you can see when he stops. All right? See, he stopped. See, so if you move around a little bit, once he stopped, it'll be dry. And he went quite a bit. He did go See, a lot. He, he went quite a bit. It's all the way through. All right? That was a full, full little belly, mm, full little bladder you had there, little crabby. See, they get kisses right on the face. Oh, always kisses. All right, then we're going to burrito him. So what's that mean? So we're going to burrito him like this. I know him, honey, bunny, bunny. Right, we're gonna burrito this little guy so he feels a little bit safe in his little burrito. Oh, that's a nice color for you. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull this up. It's gonna come straight up into this and I'm gonna measure it. So I really want it on a specific number. It's at point, it's at three, three. mLs. See, he's strong. He's They're a strong much stronger one. than you think, okay. just like real babies. Right, I'm gonna get this in a position where I can plunge it if I need to. You want some num nums? There, he just did that. Uh, num, num, num. Num, num, num. Oh. oh, look at that. He's eating. Don't worry about getting it on the table or on you or whatever. I always have a, ta a towel on my lap. Um, that wasn't very much. That was just picking at it. When they eat and they're sucking hard, their ears will flap. It's so cute. They'll be like... <laughs> it's really a strong thing and this would be gone. This little guy should be able to eat 10 mLs down like that. His belly literally, because as you're holding him like this, you can feel their bellies oh, getting full. You can it feel it. Choppy. But you don't want to ever squeeze hard or anything. You don't need to squeeze hard. I'm barely holding on to him like this. Did you want to eat eat? No? Said mommy's already fed me. I can put a little bit in the side like this. And I'm just squeezing a little bit, but he's he's like, no, I really don't want any. You're not my mama. Not the mama. Not the mama. Isn't that the cutest that thing? That is adorable. When they're hungry, they would eat. Hi. Okay. But Hi. that's how you do it. Gwen, and Gwen weighs 0 0.11 ounces, 0.4. Four hundredths of an ounce. Hi, Gwen. That's a spotted tabby. Oh. This is a... This is a Torby, Torby, because she's a Torty. Well, she has white on it, so she's a Tabico, actually. Yeah. Because she has white all under here. She's a Tabby Calico. 
a spotted tabaco. So she's a tabaco, tabby. and she's a spotted tabaco. Which is pretty unusual. We don't see a lot of those. Super, super rare. Super rare. You're a beauty. But she's full in here, but that doesn't mean it's not her bladder. So we're going to empty her bladder, and we're just going to do this. And here she's peeing. See, she's already peeing. And I'm going to move this towel around because she's going to keep peeing. And I want to make sure she's done before I stop. And she's going. Mom, mm -hmm. pee these kittens. <laughs> You're making me work hard on camera here. See, she's still going. I want to keep going. These guys uh, go and go and go. What goes in doesn't have far before it goes out. A little. She's yeah. so little. All right, so I'm going to try another one. Okay, that's it. That is a lot of pee, guys. It's a lot of pee. You're okay. And that doesn't feel good. I mean, they're, they're supposed to cry like human babies because it does help to push things out. That's oh, that so pressure. I'm not hurting them or doing something bad because no. they're crying? Nope, nope, nope. Ah, you hold that baby what? for me for a sec. You wanted to give them a, a yummies? That's oh, Gwen. Do we want some yummies? So try Hold to on. let the camera see I'm if trying, she... It might be a little klutzy trying to get... Uh-oh, she's not even looking. Hi, boo-boo. Let's see. Let's get that in the mouth. Oh, she doesn't even want to try. Oh. She eating? Mm, she, she tried it. No, she's just letting it... She's letting it slide out the side. I don't know if you can see that. Hold mm -hmm. on. Let me try and get her face above this. And you'll see, she's just letting it go in one side and leak right out the other. They're pretty full. <laughs> she doesn't but want anything is, to do process. with it. Good mama. Good mama. Really good mama. No, she and did. this is what a mom does. She, she did try that. it. All righty. See, she's just letting it fall right out the front. Okay, let's there see here. See? All right, boo-boo. So she's full. You're done? We you could tell that by any. just pretty much looking at her. And you don't want to shove it in there. No. Because they'll aspirate it. But you are a chubsy ubsy. This kitten she's, is full. You can see she's from the back side. She's a whole bigger than her brother. And the front side. She gets a nipple to herself. Jessie Jesse and Liberty. Are you I would Jesse's like Jessie. All right, he's Jessie's girl. <laughs> I have Liberty. It's oh, look a good at you, Chubby Ups. These tired. are super chubby kittens. Look at that belly. Look, look at that belly. Get on there. Ooh, ten point nine. I'm gonna do Liberty. Let's see how much you weigh. Oh, let's get zero. Oh no. He sounds like a bird. He's a little birdie. Ten point seven. Coming. Here's that little guy. Look how cute he is. Here he comes. I'm going to start oh, at two and a half. She's a little girl. Oh, You're good. A little orange girl. Ready? You want some num yums? Come here. She's a little girl, Liberty. Okay. I'm pushing it in and he's swallowing. Is you chubby? I know, Mom. He's not really wanting too much, but he's drinking it. Oh, See, I'm, he's going. I'm plunging. He's eating. Num nums. He's crying. Um, they don't usually cry like that too much when they want it, but he's still eating it. He's like, all right, I'll eat it. See, I'm plunging. He's and I'm only doing it so, That's so, okay. so slowly because I'm waiting for him. To, oh, look at him go! Yeah, he's he's eating good in the neighborhood. That's yeah, num nums, Are huh? You gonna eat? Do you have yeah, a and voice my hand is cramping, but you never stop the launch sequence because they might not ever start back up. That was him saying done. Okay, that was a violent reaction. Uh, they do, do that all the time. He's like, ah, I'm oh. done. They do that. And when they do that, listen. That's them, right? That's them saying, I'm done. He, he ate a whole, the whole thing? Um, yeah, pretty much. It's down to that little. But I started at two and a half, so. Oh. He ate two, and they love this. Look at that. They're like, yes, please. Trying? Yes, please. You do my face, Mommy Wendy. And then the kisses commence. I always kiss their faces. You're tired. Kittens have to sleep. This age, they do not play with toys. Don't bother by getting them toys or anything. They don't get toys. This is Yummy. a boy. This is Yummy. definitely a boy. How long potty. do I wait before I 
these guys can go. Again. These guys at three weeks, as long as they get a good meal in, they can go four, five, six hours without the next so, meal. But you really want to try every it, four hours. In a month, how much would they be eating? About 10 mls. Wow. And they should weigh a pound. So they're. They're You're 10 ounces at three weeks. Wagon. That's right on target. Beautiful. That's right on target because they'll start to gain now more than three hundredths of an ounce a day. They'll start to gain like an ounce a day sure. now. They'll rev up. And then as soon as you start adding food, which we're not going to do today because they're not even hungry enough to eat milk. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to write in. Wendy at kittencrazywithak.org. Wendy at kittencrazy.org. The crazy has a K. The crazy has a K. Uh, because if you have a question, lots of other people have a question. And... Debbie's Hi. back in. I'm Ooh, back. Partner. Sorry. Okay. So, Debbie, let's talk about our shirts. They are nice, aren't they? They are gorgeous. Talk about them. Well, we, um, foster, we have fosters at the men's prison in Grafton. Um... And yes, there's all their names. We went and we made dinner and served them. They do take At great, Christmas. yeah, around Christmas. They do so, they're awesome with our cats. They take uh, little kittens, actually the ones you saw earlier, they're going to the present today or tomorrow. Um, they socialize older cats and there's some cats that are just not adoptable and they're out there and I'll tell you, You'll have to pull them from their hands. They love these guys. They do. And um, they appreciate what Wendy does. Um, not places many will work with the prisoners, but Wendy does. She does not judge. Um, and they made these shirts for her. And you. Scorcher. And me. And Carl. I got a, I got a special one. Yes. With the kittens. The, the kittens are two Siamese and kittens. And you and I Sandy. Gotta, I washed mine a couple times so it's kind of but I got the kitten and um, not Sandy did not get one. Carl, her husband, got one with a um, lion head. Gorgeous lion head. And um, they made Wendy a beautiful card thanking her for oh, it's gorgeous. what she does. And they, they did this with airbrushing. Airbrush. They airbrushed these. That one guy in and um, I said, boy, wouldn't these be great if he could make us some that we could sell mm -hmm. and raise money for our program? And um, they're checking on that we're, right we're now. It, yes. And I said, they don't have to be kittens. Some people are into monkeys and giraffes yeah. and things like giraffes that. And with, with April and her having her baby every year, everybody's into giraffes. So yeah, um, they uh, yeah. they're doing a they do That's a great job, and I want to thank. The prisoners, um, we work with two sets. We have the men and the women who will take pregnant moms. Uh, they actually have two young pregnant moms over there. They will help them deliver. These cats are less than a year old, and they're, they don't know, unfortunately. They don't. And so these ladies at the women's prison helps deliver them, helps everything, and make the cats survive. Yep. Yep. Um, but most importantly, get your cat fixed. <laughs> yeah. Um, Much as we love these, yes. there's 200 a week yes. in the summer that we have to say no to. I could be honest. I believe it's lowering because of, it the, is. Because of the place that you opened. Oh, because good. Because she opened Quick Fix. Low cost spay and neutering. To that. Uh, she takes ferals. Get them fixed. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, it helps because, unfortunately, there's too many and we know what happens. Yeah. Um, and there's also another gentleman out there who made um, four pictures of Chance, Wendy's... Uh, Our logo here, logo Kitten Crazy. Kitty, and they are at the shelter. You're always welcome to come and visit the cats during our hours, which is Tuesday through Friday, 12 to 5, Saturday, 12 to 3. Cats love the attention. And you can see the amazing artwork that these gentlemen, two different sets, made. Um, we can't appreciate it enough.